Alright, Shalom, Shalom. It's a call, Lam La, Allah, Hano, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakurash. Double honor to my other apostle, Great Millstone, rule well and teach well. Shalom. It's Brother Kwan from Great Millstone, Dallas Camp, coming out to another lesson today. In the spirit, Pai Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom. This is Sarat, chapter 25, and verse 10. Oh, how great is he that findeth wisdom. All right, how do you find wisdom? You know, what is wisdom? All right, how do you learn wisdom? How do you get wisdom? First and foremost, as it says in Romans uh, 10th chapter, it has to be a, a teacher, all right, set up in the spirit and power of the Heavenly Father. His true name is Yahweh, and his son, his true name is Yahweh Shai, all right? And he has to be a descendant, you know, of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, which are you, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right. The Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, the spirit of Yahweh in Yahweh Shai has to be upon that man. All right. To teach these things on you. All right. You, you get wisdom by reading and applying, you know, as Ty said, applying and not just reading. All right, because the scripture tells us, tells us to be doers of the word and not hearers only. All right, you do it. You uh, get wisdom by reading and applying what you're reading in the scriptures, man, in your daily life. That's how you obtain wisdom. In which you continually doing that wisdom will continue to sup with you. All right, man or woman, man. Middle of verse 10. Yet is there none above him? That feareth the Lord. That's right, man. First and foremost, the Lord's elect. And chiefly, the 144,000, man. There ain't going to be none above us, you know, in the kingdom. That feareth Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, you're going to have the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. His son, Yahweh Shai. Then you're going to have the, uh, you're going to have King David and the rest of the elect, man. All right, King David is the head of the elect. Okay. There ain't going to be nobody above the 144,000 in the kingdom except for Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Verse, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 10. For her sake, I shall have estimation among the multitude and honor with the elders. Though I be young, I shall be found of a quick consent and judgment and shall be admired in the sight of great men. All right, and it's her that that that, was, that Solomon is talking about. It's talking about wisdom, man. You know, Yahweh Shai likens wisdom unto a woman. All right. Verse twelve: When I hold my tongue, they shall buy my leisure, and when I speak, they shall give good ear unto me. If I talk much, they shall lay their hands upon their mouth. Moreover, by the means of her. I shall obtain immortality and leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. Man, in verse 13, you know, it says, let's reread it again. Moreover, by the means of her, all right, by me obtaining wisdom, all right, what am I going to get for obtaining wisdom? Because, you know, Peter asked you how shy. Okay, what are we, we going to get for doing all this that you're telling us to do, Lord? All right, he told him, hey, we in uh, Matthew 19 and 28. He told him, "Hey, you gonna come? You gonna follow after me in the regeneration, and you gonna be you gonna judge the twelve tribes of the children of Israel, man. I mean, you gonna be set up high in my kingdom. All right. If you keep the sayings of this book, man. Moreover, by the means of her, I shall obtain immortality. Cause when Yahweh Shah comes back, all right, through the order of Yahweh, when he cracks them clouds, a hey, like it says in First Corinthians fifteenth chapter." Hey, the elect is going to be beamed up into the chariots, which the word in the college UFOs. All right. And we're going to be changed in the twinkling out of an eye. And this fleshly body that you currently living in right now, well, we're going to be delivered into new immortal flesh, man. Flesh that's going to live forever. We're going to have those laws written in our inward parts in our minds to where we're never going to go off again, man. All right. And through wisdom, keeping this, uh, Keeping these scriptures within your minds on a, on a daily basis and applying these scriptures in your life, all right, and having faith that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is gonna come and deliver you out of the sad troubles that's that's near upon this the face of this earth, man. All right, middle of verse thirteen, 
and leave behind me an everlasting memorial to them that come after me. I shall set the people in order and the nations shall be subject unto me. And this is Solomon talking, man. And why is he saying this like this? He said the nation is going to be subject unto him. And Yahweh promised David that his that Solomon would reign in his stead forever, man. All right. Is Solomon ruling now? No. So who was in and, and who and the Lord told uh, David that Solomon was his uh, was his son. So Solomon was and is Yahweh Shai, man. OK, so Yahweh Shai is going to come back and he's going to set up his uh, righteous rulership on the face of the planet Earth, man. As it says in, <clears throat> in Matthew 6, you know, as it, um, as it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth, loosely paraphrasing, man. Okay? As the order is set up there in the heavens, that's how that's how Yahweh Shai is going to come back and set it up on the earth, man. And he's going to use his own nation to set it aright, man. And that's, that was all on that precept. Let's go back to uh, Sirach 12. Verse 11, but the love of the Lord passeth all things for illumination. So let's get uh, uh, Daniel's 12 real quick. Let's read that again. But the love of the Lord passeth all things for illumination. All right. What's the Lord? What's the love of the Lord? You know, the love. How do you obtain the Lord, the Lord's love? All right. By the way of keeping his law, statutes and commandments, man. All right. That's how you obtain the Lord's love. All right. So in that illumination, it was talking about is that it's, it's talking about that light that shineth. You know, when you're out there on the highways and byways or you're doing these YouTube videos, man, you're letting your light shine before men. Daniel 12 in verse three. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. All right. Who's those that be wise? It's talking about the Lord's prophets, his priests. All right. The saints. And they that turn many of righteousness as the stars forever and ever. All right. And that's talking about the, the, the elect, the, the multitude that's going to believe on the words of the other prophets, man. Let's get another precept real quick. Neither I pray, John 17 and 20, neither pray I for these alone, you know, and the Lord was talking about the 144,000 elect men. He said, neither I pray for these, neither pray I for these alone, all right, because Yahweh Shah is our mediator, our intercessor between us and the Most High, all right? So Yahweh Shah could possibly be up there praying for you, man, if you, if you, if you, uh, if you're showing that you love Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, and he could be up there, he's up, he could be up there praying for you, man. But for them also, which shall believe, but he said, but for them also, which shall believe on me through their word. And who is that there he's talking about? He's talking about the prophets, man. And he, who is that me is talking about? It's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Y'all going to believe on us. Y'all going to believe on us because we come in with the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man, which is the spirit of prophecy, man. According to Revelation's uh, 19th chapter. Let's get uh, back to. Um, I had them, I had them uh, written down. I ain't going to lie. Uh, oh, yeah. The Isaiah 820. Yep, yep. Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, New Old Testament, Apocrypha, which is the Old Testament, and New Testament, man. If they speak not according to this word, all right, it is because there is no light in them, all right? So that light or illumination, you know, that's supposed to shine before men, there's no light in them, and it's not shining before men because they are in they are in gross darkness, man. As the scriptures say as well. Verse 11, in the middle of verse 11, in Sirach 25. He that holdeth it, whereto shall he be likened? 
All right. Hey, the ones that hold that held that light and that and that shining it before men, who's gonna be who's gonna be like him, man? All right. Who's walking in the path of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai correctly like them? And apparently it's it's us at, here at Great Millstone, man. Hey, like it's been said, hey, who who what other caps camps have you seen the chariots of the Lord at, man? All right. You ain't seen the chariots of the Lord at no other camps. And you know it ain't we ain't boasting. It's just facts, man. You know? So it's obvious, you know, the Lord is showing us at A, hey, man, we we on point, bro. We here at Great Millstone to our apostles and elders on down. We believe we had 100% truth, man. And nobody can sway our minds, man. Verse 12 in Sirach 25. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love. What did I have written down? Yep, yep. Let's get that. This is uh, John 25 and 7. To go further into what's, you know, loving the most high and his son. John 14 and 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them. All right. So keeping the commandments, what is going to lead unto the how about Shem, how shy loving you. Now, we know you can't keep all the commandments here in this captivity. You know, we're not sovereign, but you can try to you can try and keep some of these these law statutes and commandments, man. Once that's worth keeping, you can keep Yahweh Bashim Yahweh ain't looking for nobody perfect. That's why that's why Yahweh Shai died for you, and he was a blameless sacrifice. All right, he didn't die for you so you could be perfect here in Babylon. He died for you so you can have grace and mercy from Yahweh. All right, that's why he died for you, for you to get right the best way you can so you can receive mercy at the end of this thing, man. All right. Cause, because the Lord saving us ain't nothing but mercy. We deserve death at the end of the day, you know. This is uh John fourteen and twenty one again. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me, and who is this me talking about? It's in red writing, so you know it's talking about whom the world only calls Jesus Christ, which his true name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Middle of verse 21 again. He that is he it is that loveth me is in he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, which is Yahweh, and I will love him and will manis my manifest myself to him. All right. Or two or three again in my name, there I am in the midst of them. All right. The Lord is here with us spiritually, man. The Lord told us that. Oh, wow. Slacky. Where's that at? Uh... Yep, Matthew 28 and 20. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. All right, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. All right, the best of your ability. And lo, I am with you always. Who is who is Yahweh Shai with? All right, who is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ultimately coming for in this time? He's coming for the hopeful elect, the hundred and four four thousand men, and that unnumerable multitude of men, women, and children, man. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. All right. And that end of the world is eon, all right? means an age, all right? Period of time, age. So that age that it's talking about, let's get that real quick. It's the same age that it's talked about in 2nd Edra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world. That's that eon. That world that is talking about in Matthew 28 and 20. All right. At the end of the Esau's world, that this age that we're currently living in, Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be with you, man. All right. 
And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. This uh that's right. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Alright, so after Esau's rulership is over with, then Yahweh Bashim Hashem is gonna set his people up to rule, man. New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven, like it says in Revelation 21st chapter. That's talking about an, a, a people, not a city, because we're a people before we're a place. This is uh, Sirach 25 and verse 12. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of his love, and faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. All right. Faith is the beginning of cleaving unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. All right, like what we just read in John 14 and 21. All right. If you keep in the Lord's commandments, law, statutes, commandments, you inherit to his prophets, his, his word of prophecy, and you inherit to it, you pray to him, you know, repenting, then you how about him, how shy? It's valuable to have mercy upon you, man. All right. Don't not, you don't, hey, don't, you have a chance to receive mercy from the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Don't just brush that opportunity away. You know, the Lord is stretching out his hand to his people, man. But only a certain number of his people will return. And that's how it's written. You know. But Lord, willing that was edifying. With that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, You know, hey, more little stories that, hey, the Lord is going to be with his elect, man. You know. Lord is going to be with the 144,000 men and with the men, women, and children in these coming days, man. Okay? Let's get, uh, let's see. I think I have one more. Mm hmm. Uh, yep. Ephesians 2 and 16. No, it was a uh, lucky. No, it was Ga Galatians 2 and 16. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law. All right. Which is what we I was I've been we've I've been stating the whole time. You know, we're not justified by the works that we do with the law because we can't keep the law. You know, we couldn't keep it then after when we were sovereigns. How much more now in the captivity? You know, it's not possible. But when I saw, oh, it's like you. Verse 16 again, knowing that a man is not just justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, even we have believed in Yahweh Shah Mashiach that we might be justified by the faith of the anointed and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be saved. Bro. And who, who puts that the most? IUIC pushes law, 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 man. All right. It just stated here in Galatians 2 and 16. That no flesh will be saved by, by, the, by, the, by the law, man. Only by believing in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai will, will your flesh be saved, man. At the end of the day. I'm going to end it out on this one. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8. For by grace are ye saved. And who gave grace unto you? Who gave you this grace period? How was it established? It was established by Yahweh Shai coming, coming down out of heaven. All right. Being birthed, by the way, in the act of sex through Joseph and Mary. All right, growing up to 33, to being 33 years old, sacrificing himself on a cross for the nation of Israel, man. All right. And through, at that time, once he once he died and rose again, that was that grace period from then to now that has been established onto the nation of Israel for them to return back to Yahweh Bashim Shai and to repent. All right. And that's that's how and that's that's that grace period that's going to save you. Grace and mercy is going to get you saved in these latter days, man, from the Lord. Through faith in that not of yourselves, it is the gift of the Most High, man. All right. So it's, it's a gift from the Most High to his elect. All right. 
And the, then the elect was a gift from the Most High to Yahweh Shai, as you would read in John the 17th chapter that we had pulled earlier, man. You know? But that's all I had. Lord willing, that was edifying. Shalom. On to the next one.